In today's video, I wanted to follow up the questions I received on my last video about how I took the rather unusual decision to scoop down the waist to fit the crotch on these pants, rather than work straight down to the crotch seams. I'll link the video on the description box just in case you haven't seen it yet. Altering a garment is an art but it needs a little bit of pattern knowledge too, and lots of observation and try and error. The first things I notice when my customer try on her pants is the grain of the fabric and how it is or it isn't distorted. In our case, for example, it's pretty straight in the whole front of the hips, suggesting that there is not any horizontal pulling so the excess of the fabric is rather vertical than horizontal. I noticed though that the grain at the sides aren't really, really straight and the cross grain are pushing up at the inner side, suggesting that the thighs are a little bit tight. But you know, in my experience, I knew that this is a stretchy new denim jeans so it will get looser after the first two or three hours of my customer wearing it. So I didn't succumb to my first idea of inserting a wedge in the inner side so the legs of the pants can relax and bring you know, some of the excess of the material down. So the problem with the wedge as the only solution might not be enough. You see, by looking at the zipper fly, you immediately notice that it doesn't fit. It is way too long for the height of my customer's hip. Why didn't I say that before? For this reason only, you will have to scoop out the excess of length. You know, sometimes we tailors takes the more complicated route to arrive to the easiest. Well, no. Certainly, there are lots of pants that won't zip at the front and still you will need to do the same alterations, that's why. <laughs> In this case, you can reduce the U crotch without making the thigh tighter and or making the overall hip width smaller. This is why it's so important to be very observant of the situation you are presented with. If these jeans weren't so stretchy, I have to make Two extra steps. Number one will be adding a three quarter by three and a half inch wedge to relax the thighs. And secondly, adding darts to the new waistline or reduce that waist at the sides. I will have need to do that in order to reduce the new waistline that naturally will be bigger than the original after I scoop it. I didn't make those darts because I was able to stretch out the waistband to accommodate it to my new body waistline. But don't worry, if I did darts, I'd hide them just beside the pocket. They would have been completely invisible. I have to admit, after exposing all the technical factor, is that us professional tailors rely heavily in our experience. These kind of fitting problems usually will appear on women with long legs and short torso. As well, it happens on males and females that tilt their hips towards the back. The tilted hips shorten the front length while lengthen the back of the pants. Something else, and I think it's as well related to the posture, but I don't know, we have to ask a physiotherapist or something like that, but you know, the muscular thigh create like an empty gap, like a negative space or a dip, forcing the pants pattern to have the U wide enough to connect with the bigger side, but short at the front, longer at the back. And of course, commercial pants will assume everybody has an average posture. And this is where my job as an alterationist start. For example, in my experience, pretty much, as soon as a girl comes with this fitting situation, this is the first solution it comes to my mind. And I say girl because it happens more often on athletic girls than on more sedentary women. Although it can happen to anybody, 
and this is where all the technical aspect I mentioned before have to be considered. As you can see now, this is one particular solution to one of the reasons the front crotch might not fit well. So stay tuned for other examples with different situations. The same apparent problem might have many different solutions. If you find this video useful, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe, share, comment,